in Kampot you can do so many things. You can yes, go kayaking, you can go to the mountain, you can go to the beach, yes, you can do cycling, you can do the pepper plantation. There's so, so the, many uh, things to do. Uh, when I first arrived uh, in the middle of September, the front riverside, there was lots of, um, lots of empty buildings. Mm. Uh, there was no Browns or Starbucks and then there's now there's more restaurants. Yes, sir. Uh, so I can see, even within four months, that it starts to get more people, get more business back. Uh, Mr. Uh, Palo. And uh, it is uh, a very good opportunity, sir, to meet you here at your restaurant good. Uh, in the very sunny day at Kampot, sir. Uh, I high mean, season, nice and warm. Yes, sir. Basically, in front of the Kampot stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. The river is a beautiful place. Uh, we have cocktails every night, five o'clock to seven o'clock, so you can see the sunset. Yes, sir. And uh, to begin with, sir, you said you have been to Cambodia, and this is your first time here first for time. four months now, yes. and then now you are you know, uh, arranging your restaurant, managing, you know, staff. Yep. So my first impression, sir, uh, for the first four months here in Cambodia, uh, how do you see Kampot, sir? Like, what is your, you know, emotional attachment to Kampot so far, sir? I think uh, Kampot is uh, an up and coming uh, town. Um, I think it got hit by COVID a bit. Um, yes, so a lot of businesses, unfortunately, had to close. But mm. now, I, like I say, I've been in Kampot for four months and I can see so many of the old buildings that had nobody in. I see people go in with a business, a new mm, business. Yes, sir. Um, and I think it, it's up and coming and it's got so much to offer uh, that we want to try and explain to people that they can do. Yes, sir. Here. So uh, basically you feel uh, more optimistic about compared when you know people are coming to open the shop again. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I think uh, optimistic to get more businesses here, which then attracts more tourists. Yes, sir. Uh, and we get a lot of people come from Phnom Penh at the weekend. Uh, but again, also a lot of tourists come here to do lots of different things like uh, kayaking, uh, go to the mountain, go to the beach, go to the waterfall. Yes, sir. Uh, you can cycle a lot in some beautiful places. Uh, you can hire a motorbike and go different beautiful places. So uh, there's a lot you can do in Kampot and I think that's what we have to explain to people who will come here. Yes, sir. But, um, you know, when you look at the, the face of the Cambodian people, you know, when everything restart, basically, you know, mm -hmm. maybe one or two years after COVID, uh, do you see like, um, you know, like their, their facial emotion, you know, becoming much better from your, you know, perspective sir, uh, as, the, as a businessman here? The, the Campo people, uh, Cambodian people are so nice. Mm. Uh, they're very friendly. They will help you out. They will do anything to, to help you find what you want to do. Yes, sir. Um, very friendly people, and we have some great stuff here. Yes, sir. Uh, they, everyone really speaks quite good English, uh, so that that's good as well. And, sir, you said you have been to Cambodia for four months, but the restaurant that you are managing here, you know, dates back to, as I was meant, uh, as, yeah, yeah. as I was informed, two decades, sir, yeah, 20 yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Why uh, it, it was you know, created a very long time ago, sir? Like, what was the vision back then? Like, uh, what do you want to achieve I for, think, for uh, Kampot, sir? Dom and Denise, they were traveling a lot. They went oh. a lot through uh, different parts of Asia. And they wanted to, to start a small hotel, a small boutique hotel that was very different. And mm. uh, one day, I think uh, Dom was on his motorbike and he came through Kampot and he said, oh, Wow, I think on, this on the motorbike. Yeah. Sir. Oh no, no. He, he loved his <laughs> motorbike. He go everywhere. Yes, sir. Uh, it was traveling quite, on the motorbike. It was quite a, a trail back oh, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, the roads, I don't think, were so good, and the sidewalk by the river, <laughs> you know, it, it's all quite new now. So, mm. um, I think he saw something in Camp Pot yes, sir. that, you know, he thought this is going to be upcoming and, and, and a place to to do that. So the business has been surviving straight for for twenty years. Sir, yeah. I stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in those days, there wasn't so many hotels okay, in Kampot. Sir. Uh, so when there was less hotels, you were much busier. So um, and in the last, I don't know, maybe in the last seven or eight years, there's a lot more hotels. Yes, sir. So you have to work a little bit harder to get people here. But because of the work mm. that Dom and Denise did building this place and building everything with the staff and the great food and the whole building, um, I think you know that that's a really good thing that they did the so day. what are the special food here sir that you know attracts both the local and 
Okay, uh, so we have right. a big range of uh, Western food and some Khmer food. Yes, sir. Uh, one of the things that uh, I know Dom and Denise were quite proud of was a saruman curry. Saruman curry, sir. Yeah. So can you elaborate about that a bit? Because <laughs> maybe, you know, uh, Cambodian audiences that foreign, they want to know about yeah, that. Yeah, so. from what I know, this saruman curry was something that uh, they found from in an old recipe book. And basically, it's a lot of mm. older generation people would know that. The younger people didn't understand that. They, they, they didn't hear about it. Yes, and sir. so it's a beef curry mm -hmm. uh, with uh, peanuts and coconut and all sorts of different things. It's mm. not, so, not spicy, but the flavor is amazing. So it's a suti ball for foreign uh, yeah, tongue yeah, also, no, no problem. Like, uh, I mean, I think if you go to Indonesia, Malaysia, different places within Southeast Asia mm. as well, you get you have things like the masaman curry. Yes, sir. Uh, it's not spicy, but lots of flavor. And I think that's kind of maybe the Cambodian feel of like a saraman. Mm. So. so foreigners coming to Kampot, they should taste here at your restaurant, sir. They should taste the saraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And beside that, sir, is there any, you know, let's say like a main dish or side dish uh, or drinks, we have a signature lot of, drinks? We have a lot of the breakfast dishes, uh, either Western or uh, Khmer. So you have the rice and pork, or you have the fried rice and that kind of thing. Uh, another, few, uh, we have obviously lak, lok lak. Lok lak, oh yeah. Uh, and <laughs> again, popular one, sir. which is, I don't know, the one that we do here. Mm -hmm. Because we're in Kampot, it has all the Kampot pepper. Uh, pepper. So it's not oh. spicy, but the pepper flavor is just wow. It's, uh, it's, it, <coughs> it packs quite a punch. Packs a uh, punch with yeah, Kampot yeah, pepper. And, uh, and, and before I came to Kampot, I didn't realize that Kampot was famous for salt mm. and pepper. But the, pep the pepper is completely unique. And I think in Western countries, like you go to London or New York, I think the Campo pepper should be one of the best peppers in the world. Maybe. But you know, when, when you taste that, I mean, because I taste that a lot, so maybe yeah, yeah. I, I feel like used to it. But as a, as a newcomer, so like when you taste the pepper, yeah. like the first time, so really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what came to your mind? It's, it's warm, but not hot. Warm, and it has lots of flavor. Mm. So it's, again, not, it's not like chili, sir? Not like chili, not like chili. It just mm. has a, a really kind of warming feeling. It doesn't catch the back of your throat. Some peppers catch the back of your throat and make okay. you cough or, you snip, like, yes, or, or make you sneeze. Mm. This Campo pepper, uh, and obviously there's different versions. There's, there's black, there's red, there's green, yes, there's different yes, ages. Yes. Uh, but Campo pepper, I think, just has such a, uh, such a, a powerful flavor, but not spicy, mm -hmm. just the aroma, the fee, uh, it's something quite different. You have to try it. So quite balancing, sir, to say, yeah, yeah, to yeah, say yeah, the, yeah. the least. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and a lot of people, you know, Westerners love pepper. But mm. this, what they're eating back, back in the Western countries, it, this is not anything like apple pepper. Yes, sir. But as you mentioned earlier, uh, you also offer food. Yeah. And also you said it is a boutique. Yeah. So you also have uh, accommodation here. Yeah, sir. yeah, we have nine rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, at the back, and again, they're all done in the same kind of feel. All yes, the dark hardwood, uh, and the ricky ticky tavi colors are like red, white, and brown. So all of the room has these kind of uh, elements and details to it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, they yes, kind sir. of feel a bit like this. I can show you one uh, later. You can hopefully we're not full. We might yes, sir. Full open one. I was a bit challenging pronouncing the name, sir. So it's a uh, tik. Uh, Ricky, Tiki, Tawi. Uh, Perfect. Can you explain the, the name a bit, sir? Because it's quite a tongue twister for for for. Okay. For us. The, the yeah. uh, Ricky, Tiki, Tawi is a story by Rudyard Kipling, yes, sir. and uh, it comes from the kind of same uh, uh, stories as the Jungle Book. Mm. Um, so you have to look into that and read about it, and it's it's quite a nice story. Um, but, it, but it just has a fantastic ring to the name when you say it. But, but you don't, I mean, do you know why the owner chose that name for the restaurant? I'm not sure why they chose <laughs> that. I think it's just because it's completely different. Mm. Uh, it has a nice onomatopoeic sound. So uh, onomatopoeia means that it sounds ricky ticky tavi. It sounds like what what it's saying. Yes, sir. Um, and I think maybe they're a big fan of Rudyard Kipling or the Jungle Book or. So just something special and very different that I don't think anybody probably in the world has 
done before. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, another question, sir, because uh, I myself, you know, as um, as a Cambodian, I was wondering that sometime also. Mm. Um, you know, when Westerners come to visit, you know, Southeast Asia or yep. Asia yep. or Cambodia in particular, mm. sir, you know, when they come to see country like this, yes. do they prefer, you know, the, the old style? Like, you know, if, if we, you know, for example, <laughs> Phnom Penh, it's all about high rises, mm. it's all about modernity. But, yep. you know, Western countries, I think they had that, you know, yeah. two, three, yeah. four decades ago. I think so, if, yeah. When, when they come, what, what do they want to see, sir? Like this or like Phnom Penh, sir? No, uh, I think if you come to Camp Pod, you want something a bit more rustic, a bit more atmosphere. Mm. But yeah, I don't think you want something new and glass and marble and shiny. If you want that, I think you would go to Singapore, you would go to mm. Tokyo. Yes, uh, I think if you come to Cambodia, especially Kampot, I think you want something a bit more uh, rustic and, and kind of more as you if know, it was kind old, of old style. Old style, yeah, cause, because the rooms at the back here, they were originally a rice barn. And there have been all sorts of different things as well in the meantime. Oh, so it was a rice rice farm? Rice barn. Oh, rice barn. Yeah, okay, yeah okay. so they store all the rice there. And it's mm. been so several different things as well as that. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, but... But, but why, sir? Like, um, because, like, the, the rustic nature of the architecture, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It, it's like a, a new taste for the eye. That is why, you know, they want to change a bit. Well, it's like you said, I think, if, uh, if the Western uh, guests, I think, like if you're in London, you're in New York, you're in Tokyo, you see all of these big buildings and yes, yeah. uh, the, the glass and shiny and new. I think if you, like if you come to Camp Pot, you want something that just fits the place a lot more. Mm. Uh, this is much more uh, homely. It feels like you're in a different country. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't think if you're a guest, you want to come and feel like you're back in the place you came from, I think. Uh, you've got nature, you've got all the trees, all the grass, all the plants, and then you've got the river. And yes, I think sir. all of the hard wood that they made the, this place out of with the rattan, I think that fits really with Cambodia, with Kampot. Um, if you wanted something big and shiny and new, yeah, maybe go Phnom Penh or yes, Singapore or Tokyo. Or so coming here is more like a you know, low key, yeah. you know, relaxing vibe. Kampot so. is such a relaxed place. I can. Most of the time, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> uh, you just relax in Kampot. And like I yes, say, sir. you can, you can uh, go to the beach, you can go to the mountain, you can go kayaking, you can do adventure mm. things if you want. But I think uh, Kampot is just such a relaxed place. Uh, nice people, good feeling about it. You're by the river. Sometimes you get uh, a nice breeze even when it's really hot 35 36 37 38 degrees yes, you get a breeze and then also like i said before you can go to the mountain mm -hmm. which is in half an hour you can be at the near the top of the mountain and the climate could be it could be raining it would be cold mm -hmm. you need to take a jacket yes sir but down here it could be 37 degrees during the dry <laughs> season of course but uh, no no even now oh. if you if you go now and there's a cloud there mm. it'd be cold <laughs> at the top yeah? and one more thing sir like uh, you know based on the knowledge that you accumulated for the past four months and also you know the information that you get before yeah, yeah, yeah. um you know when foreigners especially westerners of course when they come to compot what do what do they usually do so what do they want to do normally uh, i think most people will come and uh, I'm not sure if most people have done the research before because I find a lot of people come and they say oh what can we do and, I, and then I suggest all of the different things go mm. to the mountain uh, go to the waterfall go kayaking hire some cycles and go cycling uh, go to the pepper plantation of course that's, yes, a, that's, that's a big one which is really cool as well uh, go to the beach yes, uh, which is only 25 minutes away um, so I think when they get here, they don't realize, like they think, wow, I didn't realize such a small, kind of sleepy town, relaxed place, had so many things to do. Uh, oh, so you can just either come and relax here, have some beers and some wines and some cocktails and some nice food, or like a lot of people do, they get up in the morning or afternoon and do some tour. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they come here and they have cocktails between five and seven and watch the sunset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so normally uh, after they take the tour, they will, I mean, they, they, they do feel 
satisfied about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, not, I've not met anyone yet that uh, isn't satisfied. Uh, there was one couple I told about. They came out one morning and they said, mm -hmm. "Oh, we're just going to go to the, the the market." The market. And I said, "Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay. The market's fine, but if you've seen markets before, that's uh, okay, similar. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Um, but why not?" go to the mountain they said oh what's this so I explained uh, at the top of the mountain you're going you, well you go past all the monkeys mm. then you see all of the derelict buildings you see the new buildings being built and the views at the top are amazing um, and they say okay let's try that so we organize with the tuk-tuk driver one of the guys that we normally use um, he speaks English and he helps you know explain everything as you go up yes, and then sir. they came back and they say wow you never see that anywhere in the world yes sir yeah yeah and uh, sir, during uh, Khmer New Year, uh, also you know, during the 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 loot, sorry, the 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 New Year, like uh, the yeah. typical New Year, New uh, Year Eve, many people come to see a brief. Oh, some to so, sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> to, to see a brief, to come Yeah. So uh, during that that you know specific celebration, major celebration, do you have any specialty you know in in your restaurant that you know you can create only for that Ooh. celebration to attract? We haven't done that yet. We stick with the normal menu because it's very varied. Lots of Western food, lots of Khmer food. Um, yes, what I found, uh, uh, Trung Ben, mm. there's a lot of Khmer people come and they, it's a great atmosphere because we have a lot of people in the, in the restaurant and the bar. Mm. But also you have a lot of families having picnics and on the waterfront. And so it's really kind of, and lots of people everywhere. Um, and then my first experience of the New Year's Eve yes, sir. was amazing. I think it's, uh, <laughs> I've been to, uh, I lived in a lot of places, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Singapore, London. I've never had such a good New Year's Eve as here. Mm. It was so full, everyone's in good spirits, everyone's singing, dancing, there's music, everyone having picnics. Uh, and then also you have really wild uh, fireworks. Oh so yeah. Everybody has okay. standing there with fireworks. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so you, you feel uh, you feel excited about the moment also. Yeah, so. that, that's one of the best New Year's I've ever had. Uh, I think uh, it was a great experience. I recommend that to anyone. Um, and I think there's a few uh, videos online that people made, you know, in that kind of uh, time of the New Year. And it, it it is really really a strong celebration and a, a really good fun. Yes, sir. Or uh, maybe the last question to you, sir. Um, so far, of course, uh, do you have any comment? You know, let's say, what should Kampot improve for the tourism oh, sector? Okay. You know, uh, what should Kampot improve? Uh, that maybe, maybe can improve by advertising Kampot more as a destination to come to, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes. Uh, People will go to see a Nookville and then come f through Campot, oh, okay, uh, so. or they go to Cap and come through Campot. Or I think we, we need to explain to them that Campot has a lot to offer as a tourist. It's mm. not just uh, a place to stop off and have a one or two night. Just it, 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 it's a destination uh, for tourists to come to and stay for three, four, five nights because there's so much you can do. Mm. Uh, so you recommend them to stay more than two or three nights? Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think for camp pot maybe four or five days would be it perfect. Would be, yeah, 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 because you can then you can do the pepper plantation, you can do the mountain, you can go to cap and eat the cap crab. Mm. Uh, you can go cycling one day. You can just relax one day. I would say four or five days in camp pot is the perfect kind of time. So you would like to see camp pot being advertised? much more than what it is currently yeah. is. as a destination to go to rather than a destination to go to as you go somewhere else oh okay. because we get a lot of people come here uh, and they'll they, they, they stay here for one or two nights mm. because they go into Hattien border Hattien, Vietnam, yes, because they want to go to Vietnam um, and then they can they come here and they go oh, wow I didn't realize this was such a good place mm. <laughs> yes, um, so I think just to advertise and, and, and promote and put more as a destination to, to go to rather than go through. More like uh, a primary destination. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sir. So, thank you, sir, for the interview, sir. No, and, thank uh, you. I wish uh, you, uh, you know, you uh, a success business plan here in Kampot. Uh, thank you so much. 
more tourists will come to Kampur. I hope so. I'll finish. I'll finish. Thank you, sir. Thank you.